welcome back. In today's video, we are going to discuss how to export a project schedule from Microsoft Project to Microsoft Excel. Throughout our organizations, we might not be able to provide the same software for all the teams. Besides that some of our team members might not be familiar with the software that we are using for project scheduling. That's why we need to export our project schedules to other software. One of the most useful tools in this field is Microsoft Excel. In today's video, we are going to discuss how to export a project schedule from Microsoft Project to Microsoft Excel. And besides that, we can pick the information that we want to be represented in Microsoft Excel. For example, there might be certain things in your project schedule which you might not like to share it with others. So you share the amount of information that they have to see. Let's get started with exporting the project schedule from Microsoft Project to Microsoft Excel. We have the project schedule in here, the list of the activities, the start and end dates, and besides that we have the resource name, the actual cost, and the baseline cost. In order to export it, we'll go to File, from here we'll click Export, and then click Save Project as File, and from here we'll select Microsoft Excel Workbook. We'll click on this and click on Save Us. I will name this MS Project to MS Excel and I'll pick a different destination for this and then I'll click Save. As we did for importing a project schedule from Microsoft Excel to Microsoft Project, the same method should be followed from Microsoft Project to Microsoft Excel. You need to create a map and maybe save that map to use it later on for other schedules of yours. In here, we'll click Next. What is the format of the data you want to export? We'll click the selected data. And since we haven't exported any data from Microsoft Project to Microsoft Excel before, so we'll create a new map. If we already have a map, then we'll use the existing map. Click Next. From here, we want the information for the tasks, their start date, end date, and everything. We'll click Next. Now from here, what fields from Microsoft Project do you want to export to Microsoft Excel? The first one is the activity name. I'll click here and I'll type name. Next thing is the start date. Next thing is the finish date. And next we have the duration. And besides that we have the cost, maybe the resource names. So this is all the information that I want to export to Microsoft Excel. The information, whether it's a date or a cost, will be exported as text. We need to change the text to its relevant type. For example, if it's a date, it should be previewed as a date. Or if it's a cost, it should be previewed in terms of cost. I will do that in Microsoft Excel, so keep watching. If you click Next from here, so you can save your map. If you're going to use the same process over and over again, so you can save the map and use it later on in the project. But in our case, I won't save it. I'll click Finish. It will be exported to Microsoft Excel. So now I will go to Desktop and open the Excel file we just created. So this is the file that's created in Microsoft Excel. Earlier, I told you that all the information will be exported as text. For example, if you see this date, it will be text. If you're going to do further calculations using Microsoft Excel, it cannot be done. So first, you have to change it to date. In order to change this from text to date, we will use the text function in Microsoft Excel. I'll type start in here, which is the start date, and in here I'll write down equal sign text open parenthesis, I'll click the cell and then double quotes. In here, I'll write down the format of the date. So I'll write down day day, month month, and four times y, which will represent the year. I'll write down double quotes again, I'll close the parenthesis and press enter. So this will be converted into date. I'll drag this to the bottom here and then to the right. So both start and end dates will be represented as dates in here. Next thing is the cost, which is shown as text in here. I'll select all of them. From here, where the error is given, I'll convert them to numbers. Then from here, I'll click the dollar sign and they will be converted to currency. Maybe if you like to 
hide these two, you can hide them. If our content are helpful, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Besides that, we post useful information about project management and civil engineering on our Instagram and LinkedIn pages. Consider visiting them as well. Thank you very much for watching.